hello and welcome to my channel I am going to be showing you today how I prepare my hair for clip-ins installation I'm going to show you how I wash my clip-ins and then I'm going to show you how I blend in my hair with the clip-ins okay if you're not familiar with how to wash your clip-ins hair extensions please follow the instructions that comes inside of the packaging just to ensure to properly care for your hair okay first thing I'm going to show you is how I prepare my hair which is by flat twisting it all the way around and then this is the end result of my flat twist jumping right into the video I am going to be washing my clip-ins I wash my clip-ins one track at a time I'm simply folding it over and then I'm just gonna saturate the hair in warm water next you'll see me applying my shampoo Although they recommend using a conditioner to cleanse the hair, I prefer to use my all-time favorite shampoo. This is actually a shampoo that I use on my real hair. And this is a shampoo by Cream of Nature and it's Mango and Shea Butter Ultra Moisturizing Shampoo. And this is a gentle cleansing shampoo and then after applying it, I will run my fingers through the hair. Just making sure the shampoo has gotten onto all of the strands. Okay, right here I'm just going to begin rinsing out the shampoo. And I only wash the track one time. Unless your hair has a lot of buildup on it, there's no need in washing the extension more than once. So I'm just going to thoroughly get all of the shampoo out and then I'm going to apply my conditioner. And this conditioner is in the same line as the shampoo is Mango and Shea Butter Ultra Moisturizing Conditioner. And I'm going to apply this to the hair and then I'm going to let it sit on the hair for about 10 minutes. Okay, I'm just making sure to get the conditioner from the top of the hair all the way through the ends. And I'm going to begin using my fingers and run it through the tracks to make sure that there are no tangles. As you can see, my fingers are running right through the hair. So easily, my fingers are running right through the hair. This conditioner works so well on your real hair as well as hair extensions. And this is just a close-up of the hair with the conditioner still on it. I'm gonna lay it flat for five minutes. Look at my fingers, unbelievable. This is all of the shedding I got from this hair. Okay, 10 minutes has passed and I am now rinsing out the conditioner. I'm just removing the excess water with my hands. Then I'm gonna show you a close-up of the, of the track after being conditioned. And look at those curls, they are all still there. They are so beautiful from the top of the track to the end of the track, beautiful. And this is the hanger I am going to use to dry my clip-ins. Okay, now I am just going to let the track dry overnight. And then the next day I will show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the new track and of the track that has been washed. I'll see you in the morning. 
Okay, here it is the next day. This is the track that was washed and it is now completely dry. Okay, here's the side by side. Next, what you see me doing is running my fingers through the ends just to make it look a little more natural to remove a little of the curls and add a little bit of frizz. Okay, I'm gonna do the comparison again and you can see that the previously washed hair, the ends of it looks just like the ends of the new hair. I'm very impressed with this hair. This hair is absolutely beautiful. Next, I'm just showing you how I blend my hair with the clip-ins. These are the same curls from the flat twists at the beginning of the video. I am simply tucking them inside the curls and then other curls I'm twirling around the clip-in curls to better blend them. I hope this video was helpful. Please visit this website because these clip-ins are bomb. And when purchasing these clip-ins, use my 10% discount code. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.